here. I think there's a moose out there. Is that a moose? Dude, that's a really good moose call. I don't care who you are, okay? She's hearing back. Hold on. Fucking savages. I just... Oh, what are you doing, dude? Come on, man. <laughs> Welcome back to Dave's RC Mofos. On the deck, right here, live and in the foam. Like the flesh, but the foam. <laughs> E-Flight P51, 1.5 meter, guys. Um, I don't know why my radio is sitting on the ground like that. That's just bad etiquette. Um, uh, Michael, Roshka, uh, I, I was, me and Kyle, he was, he was trying to be weird and taking my glasses and stuff, and I wasn't paying attention to setting the radio down, where it was setting it down. I just dropped the radio and me and Kyle went at it. Um, he lost, it was quick, mad quick. Um, so yeah, um, you guys, uh, there's really nothing I can say about the plane that already hasn't been said. Uh, I have it all set up. I'm gonna take off in safe because I've actually never used safe before. Uh, so I'm kind of curious to see like how it feels and what it feels like using safe. So I'm gonna take off in safe um, and then uh, I'll switch it to uh, the gyro mode and then during the flight, we'll also switch the gyro completely off and see how she goes. Um, but from what I from what I've understood, uh, guys, this thing flies like a baby doll. It's really fast. It's a uh, it's got a really really nice color, you guys. I I absolutely love the color on this plane. Like I've never seen a more robust color on a P51 before. You know, they're usually silver or you know a dark color or 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 gray or, or red. They have right red highlights. This, this thing is just. Uh, it almost looks like a P-47 paint job on a P-51 um, or, or a Hellcat, it had Hellcat blue or a little, I don't know, man. It's just an absolutely ridiculously nice looking plane. Um, I think, I think I'm, uh, I think I'm a little excited about this one, guys, for the simple fact that we're actually going to be flying a plane of quality. I've been flying that Falco Wolf for the past week, guys, putting videos up on it. And it just seems like there's one, there's something wrong with it each time I fly. I don't know what's wrong with it. I think in, uh, unbalanced fan or prop or prop spinner or whatever. This thing, I did a run up on it and it sounds amazing, you guys. Um, I really don't have anything else to say, man. Everything that's already been said about this plane, there's already a hundred videos out on this plane. I am late to the game. I have had this plane just as long as most of you guys have, but uh, it's just been sitting there because I have so many planes to fly. Um, and this one is uh, one that I wanted to do now because I didn't get my I didn't get my fulfillment out of the Focke Wolf. The Focke Wolf let me down, you guys. It really did. The Focke Wolf, beautiful presence in the sky. It flow it flies great. Uh, I just couldn't punch the throttle because the thing started wobbling around. Prop sounded awful, um, and uh, I just wanted to have a, a a a gratifying experience flying a prop plane. And uh, I think I'm gonna get it with this. I think the uh, P51 is gonna give me what I'm looking for. Uh, fast pass, I can't wait to fly this thing, guys. I'm super excited. We got Kyle on the camera, guys. I'm Dave, this is Dave's RC, and uh, let's get this damn P51 E-Flight from Horizon. Don't forget, guys, if you wanna get one of these guys, check out pilotryanmedia.com. Go to his website, check out his links, link for Horizon in there, and uh, go ahead and get your plane through the website, guys, because it really helps it out, it helps the community out. Anything that helps Ryan out, helps me out, helps everybody out in the community. That's awesome. Go check them out. PilotRyanMedia.com, guys. Dave's RC. Let's get her up. Look at that bird right there, dude. His girlfriend was here a minute ago. And he's like, hey, honey, hey, check this guy out. He's going to fly his plane over here. She's like, I'm not watching that shit. She's like, I'm going back home. He's like, whatever. Fine then. He's like, as a matter of fact, I'm going to go over to your brother's nest, bang him, and lay my eggs in his nest. You're still gonna stay here and watch me fly the plane, dude. Your old, your, your old birdie is gonna go bang your brother and, and, and have eggs in his nest. You don't care? You don't care?
Oh, I guess not. I guess he's just gonna, he wants to watch me fly. That bird has literally been waiting there this whole time. His girlfriend came, and then she bailed. She's like, I don't want to watch this fool fly that thing. But he's been sitting there chilling this whole time. He's we've been waiting for waiting for me to fly the plane. I think I think that's what he's doing over there. He doesn't talk, so I don't know. Um, Gear up. Gear up. Stop. What the hell's going on with this thing, man? Holy shit. Down here, come on. There we go. All right. There we go. All right. There we go. It's my spot here. She's very pretty, you guys. She flies very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Sweet. Pop out of the flaps, let's get her going. of up trim. Yeah, that's better. That's way better. Much better. There's my one minute warning. Five minutes on the clock. Is that was that already a one minute warning? All right, here we go. All right, I think that we should be out of safe now. Yeah, we're out of shape. We're out of shape. Yeah, we're out of safe. Definitely out of safe. Uh, yeah, so I just got it in AS3X mode right now. You guys got it out of safe.
thing flies amazing, you guys. Yeah, I know my, I know my thing's gonna go off, you guys. I'm not worried about it. Throw the clutch in, kick your gear in. bitch settles in. Yeah, baby! That's what's up. That's a nice plane right there, guys. That's no bullshit. That is probably one of the nicest, most stable platforms I've ever flown on, guys. That's, that was nice. Look at the nav light light up. I, I couldn't even miss that. I wore my glasses because I knew it was going to be in the evening, you guys. What a beautiful plane, man. Let me taxi it back over here. Throw these flaps up. Um, I went full flat. I did everything by the book that time, you guys, with the landing and everything. I flew the first couple of like minutes in safe, and then I cut the safe off. And I'm telling you right now, man, it flew no different out of safe than it did in safe. I mean, look, look at the way this thing ground handles, you guys. Right? I don't. I, I mean, go ahead, Kyle. Throw, go, go out there, man. We'll get. Uh, go out in front. We'll. Uh, we'll break it down real quick. Um, so the whole flight, guys, I was in high rate. Um, I did want to kind of switch to low rate just to see, uh, but I had a feeling if I switched to low, if I was, if I would have switched to low rate and gone to 70, you guys, um, I don't think it would have been enough. I like my my control surfaces touchy. I don't know why. I like my ailerons touchy. I don't like my elevator touchy, um, but I don't like it underpowered either, man. I I like. I don't like having to pull down all the way on the stick to get it to get, give me some movement. Um, what a, what an awesome plane, you guys. Dude, the E-Flight P-51, you guys, is the real deal. This is a, a, a really nice platform, you guys. I've never flown a P-51 before, and I, I, shame on me, man. I'm ashamed of myself that I haven't. Uh, why I haven't, I don't know why. Um, uh, I just really, I'm very impressed, you guys. I'm very impressed. Uh, I, I kept it in safe, like I said, for the first minute and a half, two minutes. Then I clicked her out of safe when she came in on a straightaway. And uh, there was no difference, no pitch change, no no nothing. There was no change whatsoever in the aircraft at all. It was it was pretty much the same, except that I was allowed to get past that bank limiter. Um, you guys, if you don't have an E-Flight P-51, guys, I'm, I'm encouraging you. I'm stressing to you and encouraging you, and, and I, I, I'm, I'm a complete... Uh, uh, lover of this plane. This thing is awesome, you guys. Um, it really, really makes up for those three kind of boring uh, Falco Wolf flights for me. I mean, the flights may have been good for you guys. You guys may have thought they were nice. It was some nice slow flying with the Falco Wolf, and she really does look pretty up there and handles wonderfully, guys. Uh, don't get me wrong. It's a very, very beautiful plane. It's very nice. Um, but this thing just blew the doors off that thing. This thing made that thing look like a hoopty. This is the Cadillac. That thing's the hoopty. That's the Pinto, Dave Marshall. That that Falco Wolf is the Pinto in flames. It's it's the Volkswagen bus in California on in flames on the side of the road, burnt up. No, I'm just kidding. The Falco Wolf's actually really great, guys. Even though it is a hobby king plane, you guys, it flies awesome. I can't wait to get it dialed in and tuned in, get the prop balanced out so that we can get some flights on that Falco Wolf like this. Next time we come out here, guys, I'm going to have the P-51 and I'm going to have the Corsair and, uh, or, or, the, or the Falco Wolf. I'm not sure which one yet, uh, but we're going to have both of these up. I want Tyler. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get uh, Tyler's up and get it up in the air for him. And then once I get the uh, the Falco Wolf up for Tyler, I'm gonna throw the P51 up, and we're gonna do some good old fashioned dog fighting, guys. But here it is, guys. E Flight P51 from Horizon. You know where to get one. But instead of just going to Horizon, guys, go through PilotRyanMedia.com. Show the man some love. He shows us nothing but love. He's always shouting us out in the videos. You guys know who you are if he shouts you out. That means he cares about you, and he cares about you so much that he would shout you out in his video, guys, uh, and on his live streams. Um, so. I feel that it's necessary for me to tell you guys, if you want one of these, go through PilotRyanMedia.com. I'm Dave. This is Dave's RC. Kyle on the camera. And we will see you mother later.
All right, guys, so uh, not done yet. You know how we do. Um, if we're gonna do this damn hobby and, and, and do these, uh, do these um, product reviews, our, our plane reviews, uh, and we wanna do them proper. You know, Ryan's right, man. If you're gonna do this, you wanna do it proper. You don't wanna be passing out false information or misleading people, uh, and you wanna do it right. Do it by the book, and you know who wrote the book? In my opinion, who wrote the book on product reviews for these damn foamies? Pilot Ryan. Pilot Ryan's the fucking man. I'm telling you right now, guys, if you guys watch my channel and you don't know who Pilot Ryan is, there's something wrong with you. You need to go get your head screwed on or pull it out of your ass or do whatever you have to do. Get over there and check out Pilot Ryan. Uh, but what we got, guys, I just wanted to show you these gear real quick while we got the plane plugged in. And then we're going to unplug the plane, guys. And we are going to... Uh, so first, guy, uh, Kyle, I want you to show him the tail wheel here just real quick. I'm going to flick it on and flick it off real quick. Check out that tail wheel, guys. Watch this. Show. All right, now I'm going to open it back up. Now, now watch those gear doors shut right there. Oh, they're not going to do it. Oh, there they go. Look at that, guys. Just like a real P-51. Check out these gear from far away. Go get back a little bit, Kyle. Now, check this out. Check these gear out, guys. Watch those gear doors come open. I mean, you can't. I mean, there's, there's nothing more that you could get out of a plane, guys. It is, it is. A pricey plane guys I'm not gonna lie to you it's not a cheap plane but I'm telling you right now they've got it all figured out with this one you guys you have to do nothing it's got smart tech the smart technology in it smart receiver smart uh, it's got the smart um, ESC and it's also got a smart battery which we're gonna check right now so let's get over here. We're gonna check these voltages, guys, and me and Kyle are gonna get the hell out of here. Um, so we flew that on our smart. Now, see, I had mine. You guys can see I had my battery hanging off about uh, about a half inch, and that's just because, like Ryan, uh, I I tend to like my planes a little more nose heavy. I actually like the feeling of the nose heaviness of the plane. And right away, I could tell it was nose heavy because she wanted to dive, and that's cool. We just throw a little bit of trim in there. And uh, we're all set. Um, you know how we do, right? You know how we do, right? You know what's up, man? You know how we do it. Uh, but I don't know. That was uh, I, I. I had always felt that way even before I met Ryan. And then uh, it just it just so happened that um, Ryan uh, not only does he um, fly his planes nose heavy or like them nose heavy like I do, uh, but he also eats his Oreo cookies like I do as well, uh, which is pretty cool. It was pretty cool to uh, to, to know that. Um, and I'm not going to tell you guys how. Okay. Because that's a secret between me and Ryan. Okay? No, seriously, look up here. I'm not kidding. I'm not going to tell you. Okay? If you didn't hear it in the live stream that Ryan put on about seven weeks ago or eight weeks ago, then you're not, you're not going to know. That's it. I'm not saying nothing. Okay? It's called confidentiality. Uh, friend, patient, friend, friend, confidentiality. All right, so here we go, guys. What? No way. No way. No freaking. There's no way. There's no way. How long? We were up for five minutes. We were up longer than five minutes. My five minute alarm went off. There's no way. There's no, there's no freaking way, dude. There is absolutely no way. Bro. Hold on, I'll get to focus. Okay. Hold on, you stay still, watch. You guys, 70%. Bro, I mean, I know I wasn't gunning it. I only I only did a couple of fast flybys, like maybe once or twice. But I had the throttle at least at half the whole time, or a little bit below half the whole time. You guys. Wow. I, I, I'm, I'm ridiculous. I'm, I'm so impressed right now. I can't, I have, I'm, lo I have, I'm, I'm at a loss for words, you guys. I'm at a complete loss for words. Uh, we flew for over five minutes. Uh, with a third to half throttle the whole flight and then we also had some fast passes in there as well uh, Not too many just because I, that's not the kind of That's not the kind of pilot I am especially with warbirds I don't like freaking throwing them around as fast as they can go all the time I and I, and I like to take care of my batteries guys and and flying your planes hard like that really does take a toll on your batteries um, And I, I, I just like to I like my batteries to last and I never fly full speed all the time. I do with the little 64 millimeter jets, but uh, not with these, not with the big jets. There's just no need to do it, you guys. I like a slow, nice, stable, oriented flight. Uh, there's no need to just go balls to the wall the whole time. 
Uh, and not to mention, you're only asking for trouble. I mean, things can go bad at those. It, it, when, when you're going that fast all the time, man, you can lose an aileron. You can uh, a, a clevis can come loose. A, uh, a a control horn can come loose. I mean, uh, just ask Hangar 51 and the like 20 Avani's that he's had uh, because of like control horns and, and control hinges and linkages uh, just going bad on his plane. Um, that's why I take it easy, you guys. I fly easy. But 70% for what we just did, guys, that is massively efficient, you guys. We didn't even get through the first half of the battery. Six minutes. Well, wait, let me check. Let me check the timer. We were a minute and 49 seconds over the five-minute mark. So that's 649. So six minutes, it's almost five, seven minutes, guys. Almost seven minutes, you guys. 70% battery life left. I'm sold. You guys, get one. You know where to get it, and you know where to go to get it. PilotRyanMedia.com, guys. Hit the link for Horizon. Go to Horizon's webpage and buy yourself an E-Flight P-51, 1.5 meter, guys. You won't regret it. I promise. Dave's RC says so.